じゃあありがとうございますお願いします<笑>さなんか最初に自己紹介自己紹介しまってもいいですかはい、えっと、私は父がアメリカ人で母がえっと日本人のハーフでえっとずっとえっと千葉県で生まれ育って一年間シアトルに留学したっていうぐらいですインターナショナルとかの学校行ってましたそれともパブリックの学校ですかそうですねずっとえっと国立の小学校から中学校までと私立の高校行ってたのでインターは行ってないですなんか私はなんか人生を通してあんまりハーフとしてなんかあんまり損だったことはあんまりないとは思ってたんですけどちょっと思い返したりするとなんか例えば私父がキリスト教なのであのこうやって給食の前にこうやってお祈りしてたらなんか前の男子2人とかが「何やってんのなんかバカじゃないの?」みたいな感じで笑ってくるみたいなのはなんかよくあってなんか差別っていうふうに感じたことはなかったですけどやっぱり外国人の見た目っていうことで。まあ外人って言われたりとかはよくありました。あのお父さんキリスト教って言ってたじゃないですか。自分はあのリリージャスですか。そうですね。なんかやっぱ今は割と無宗教になっちゃったかなと思ってて、でも小学校中学校はずっとお祈りしてましたし、最近ちょっと離れちゃったかなっていう感じですね。じゃあなんで今はちょっと無宗教ちょっと離れていったんですか。自分のそれはもう完全に環境で普通にあのお父さんと一緒に住まなくなってからはこう食事の前にお祈りすることもなくなったし、はいはいはい、自然と消えてしまったっていう感じですかねシアトル行ったじゃないですかアメリカ、はい、それまでにアメリカはコンスタントに行ってましたあの育ってた時とかあそうですね、まあ、結構赤ちゃんの時から、えー、中学生ぐらいまでは毎年あのロサンゼルスに行って家族でみんなクリスマス集まる。あの実際住んだのは初めてじゃないですかアメリカにその時シアトルにどういう1年間でしたエミさんにとって1年間そうですね<笑>えなんかその自分の本当のアイデンティティがこが解放されてなんか自由に過ごせた一方で馴染みきれず帰ってきたっていうのはあります、うん、1年じゃ足りなかったですか、うん、その面は4年間行きたかったっていうのはありますねでも人生変わっなんかどう変変わわっっててたたかかんないけど多分変わってたと思います4年間行ってたえー、っとじゃあ逆に日本に住んでた時は抑圧されてたってことですかそうです自分が気づかずにも、うん、なんか、うん、そうですね無意識だったと思うんですけどうんやっぱりちょっと自分と価値観がぴったり合う人っていうのが少なかったのでなんかちょっと特別扱いっていうかまあハーフだから、まあ、特別扱いされてた感じもあったし、うん、なんか自分と同じ人があんまりいないなってっていうのは感じてましたとアメリカに今住みたいとかって思わないんですかアメリカに住みたいって気持ちはやっぱりあって特に子供将来、うん、あの子供産んだ時はなんかアメリカで育ててあげたいなっていうのは思ってますうどうしてですかそうですねいやなんかやっぱり日本の方が住みやすいし食べ物美味しいしなんか安全治安もいいとは思うんですけど、うん、なんかこのそうですね自分的には狭い世界だと思っちゃうなんかもう少しいろんなものを世界のいろんなものを自分の次の世代には見せたいし自分もなんか新しいライフ、うん、なんか違う人生みたいのを経験してみたいっていうのがありますアメリカアメじゃあアメリカで次住むとしたらどこですかやっぱでも西海岸西海岸左,左サイドがいいなと思ってて。右側の方がやっぱ東京に近いというかシカゴとかニューヨークとかでカリフォルニアやっぱちっちゃい頃から行ってて大好きです、ね、なるほど英語で喋りますかちょっと今、うん、<笑>英語ですね何喋っていいかわかんない So you say you also speak English How did you learn English?、Uh, talking with your dad? Yes I learned English from talking with my dad when I was little and after that when I studied abroad I learned for an ear so that's how I learned Do you have any opportunities to speak English in your daily life in Tokyo? Actually, I have no opportunity.、Um, the company I work, they don't use English that much, especially my department.、Yeah. So I barely use English. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your time.、Uh, can you introduce your background? Can you introduce your background? Yes, my father's from Germany and my mother's from Japan. And、uh, I grew up in Germany. And now you live in Japan? Yes. Yes,、okay. now I live in Japan here in Tokyo. Okay, so, yeah, first of all, like, what was it like 
uh, growing up in Germany as half Japanese, half mixed race Japanese. Yeah, that, that's a good topic. For me, it was like difficult when I was younger because I always wanted to be German. I always wanted to belong to the German people, really? right? And I was like the half Japanese guy. So I thought at that time when I was younger, I thought, ah, Japan is not cool. I want to be like every other German kid in school. So like you wanted to be like 100% Caucasian person, basically, yes. in yes. Germany, a German. Yeah, okay. definitely. I have a story about that because my mother used to make me bento for her for school lunch, right? And I don't wanted her to bring bento. They wanted to have sandwich like every other kid in Germany. But nowadays I would think, oh, bento is pretty cool. So yeah, that's changed. You used to have um, the connection with Japanese culture and Japanese things, except bento. <laughs> Yeah, so my mom, for my mom it was important, for my Japanese mom it was important to to educate me also Japanese, with Japanese culture, Japanese language, so she always talked to me and my brother in Japanese. Okay. And I also went to like a... Uh, um, Japanese school? Japanese school, once a week. Oh. Once a week, and um, yeah, so I grew up with Japanese and also I think Japanese culture and Japanese behavior, mm. because my mom, from her, it was really important to have Japanese values. Um, at the time, how did you feel about it? Like, you know, many, many half Japanese interview men mentioned, like, oh, that was like, kind of annoying to go to you know, Japanese school every week. And then some of them quit going to, you know, going to Japanese school and they ended up not being able to speak Japanese. How did you feel about it? And how do you feel right now about it? Yeah, I also quit Japanese school, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Because for me, it was also like annoying. I didn't know why, why I was doing that or it was, I just wanted to be like, everyone else so how long have you been in japan total three and a half years three and a half uh, all together because i was in university i also went to japan for um, wow. exchange wow yeah oh so you came to japan when you graduated high school mm -hmm. as a gap year mm -hmm. and you came to japan study abroad while you're in university and now you live in japan again now after you live in japan like few years um how do you feel about life in japan as half japanese live in japan and live in Germany. How do Japanese people see you and how do German people see you okay. as half Japanese? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think in Germany now there's Germany Germany is so multicultural. So yeah, it's yeah. they think if I would not say that I'm half Japanese Japanese, they think I'm just German. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make any difference. But Japan, because of the looks, yeah, they yeah, see yeah. me more as a foreigner. And so yeah, I struggled with that at the beginning because I wanted to identify myself as Japanese because I'm in Japan. But then I got to know, hmm, that's a bit hard because I'm still a little bit outsider, so it would not make me happy if I identify myself as Japanese in Japan. So I started to identify myself as a guy that grew up in Germany, but also half Japanese, and that's okay how it is. German people and Japanese people, how do you feel the differences? Biggest difference, German people and Japanese people. It can be anything. I would say German people are more direct oh, okay. they say their opinion and they also like to discuss and japanese people are more like uh, not that direct and yeah, yeah. right right um did, did you struggle you grew up in germany so that means like you tend to be uh, direct uh, compared to japanese people yeah that for me it was not too difficult because in germany i also was not direct okay <laughs> so i was more maybe like my mom uh, who is Japanese and I was not that direct so that's one thing I like about Japan that the people are not too direct but of course some honne and tatemai mm. I didn't know before but I got used to it um, so that okay. was not the biggest problem. Can you introduce yourself in Japanese or can you, can you say something in Japanese so okay. people can tell the differences? Yeah. Uh, konnichiwa. Namai wa tobiyasu nan desu ke do tobi to yonde ii desu. クロスするとき、あんまりないけど、もう例えば難しいこと。ありがとうございます。Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.
Okay, thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was interesting. And also, I'm planning to interview half Japanese, half Arab people. So if you have one of them, and if you know anyone I can interview, please contact me. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like button. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions you want me to ask people in Japan, please leave the comment too. See you next time.